Hello everybody and welcome once again to another episode of the character design series. For today's video, I continue with phase 2 of the first round of the Nemesis R challenge. A challenge you can join anytime if you are interested by the way. This time I have to create a nemesis for the protagonist character that Coris Hubble, the artist I was paired with this round, did create it. This is his character, called Arm of God some kind of space astronaut with some cybernetic slash magic arm. So, in this phase I will have to use his design as the artistic direction to create my character. Ok, let's jump right into the process now. To me, the style he used for his character reminded me in a loose way to some of the 80s toys like He-Man for example. So I decided to create my character based on that feeling I got from it. I immediately thought of Skeletor as the villain, so I decided to take some design elements from that character and mix them with Cory's character. With this vague idea in mind, I envisioned him with a face that could remind a dead man or a skull, thinking once again on Skeletor. I used a very yellowish tone for his skin for that reason. At this point, I'm thinking he should look almost like an undead, and he must look mean. I then went into looking at the pose, which I went with a simple standing pose but with a threatening attitude in it. After all, he's the bad guy. Then I continued using Skeletor as a reference for the color palette and its distribution throughout the design. Now that I had those basic elements taken from Skeletor, I had to put all my focus on using the same design language and shapes from Cory's character. Since I had to create a nemesis, I decided to show him almost as a darker reflection of the protagonist. So he needs to be an astronaut as well and share a similar type of equipment and gear. So I gave him a pistol and added a special arm as the protagonist has, but with the idea that it is imbued with dark energies instead. Now I have all the basic design elements in place so I spent some time refining and developing further those design elements that should tie him with the original design from Cory's character, like the straps, tubular texture areas of the suit and other details. At this point I am happy with all the design elements so it is just a matter of polishing and adding some few small details here and there, like the dark energy emanating from the arm or the astronaut helmet for example.
and that is for today. I hope you liked the video and enjoyed the small explanation of my creative process for the design of this character. I have to say, this phase of the challenge is extremely fun and an exercise I recommend you to try with some friends. Not only you will learn a lot, but it is very fun experience to do with other artists you admire. So join the challenge. If you did like the video, please give a like and share this video. It certainly helps independent artists like myself to continue doing this. And like always, if you have any feedback or suggestions for new content, please write them down on the comment section. And until next time, have a good one and bye bye.